Hey, hey, and welcome back to our new episode here for the Project Webtoons podcast. Woo, ready to get into all of this this week. Hope everyone's having a good time out there. I am going to go and start us off, of course, with your host. It's your boy, Sleepy. What's going on, y'all? It's your boy, Seraph here. Hey, hey. And it's Art Dragoon. Oh, it, you look like you had a, a, a little bit of issue there you are bright dude you are real bright really bright, Super bright. yeah it's, like God, did, did you me. did you put a new window in your place man you're just you got all this extra no, light now it's just because the sun is finally out oh okay i see i thought you feared the sun i stay inside i fear the people oh the i see i see it's the people you fear okay all right yeah, i'm always smart, right? <laughs> i mean you know <laughs> It's, it's it's always That's something we do this so we don't have to interact <laughs> i mean if 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 it fits as long as he's still getting his quote unquote human human contact it's fine <laughs> this is all good but we got plenty of stuff to cover this week um uh, everything basically came out uh we got four multiple chapters, chapters. Of yeah four chapters of inso's law we got uh Two only one class trash hero yep we got one new chapter for Dark Lady, uh, two new chapters, I believe, for Descent, uh, and one chapter for Peerless, so plenty of stuff to bite through, and I know that uh, our sweet home is going to be nice and fire if you saw the thumbnail for this. <laughs> this is the one we were kind of waiting for and talking about, uh, but yeah, so hopefully just some good conversations all around with these weeks. Are you guys lagging or is it just me? I think it might be just you. I've seen perfectly fine. Like, Jimmy looks I okay. I don't see anybody lag either. I mean, you look okay. Do you, do you feel like you're? Are we lagging to you? Yes. No. Ark. Ark. I think he is checking in it. Well, either way, <laughs> we could definitely uh, jump into here. Let's go ahead. All right. I'm actually gonna go and start us off here on our first one going through. Um, let's actually start. Oh, looks like we lost our, we'll get him back here in a sec. <laughs> uh, let's go ahead and jump in, uh, with, uh, my wife is a demon queen. I want to start off on, uh, on that hotness. I just lagged out. Was that just me? Y yeah. Oh, yeah, you, you lagged out. Okay. That? Okay. okay. I just want to make sure that I was like, <laughs> what the fuck happened here? You got really quiet and then yeah, like, like everything just, you just died You out. dropped and then you came back. I thought you actually disconnected and reconnected. No, I just I just dropped the room because I was like, what the fuck? Everyone else is frozen. I'm like, it's got to be just me. It's just you. <laughs> uh, uh, well, as long as you're back, everything's working. So we'll keep going on here. So I said we're going to our first one was going to be off with uh, my wife is a demon queen. Um, so. I was going to go over here with Ark. So with this chapter, since we were we just finished off with uh, the master and his uh his memory his of everything in his backstory. And I know in the last week when we covered that, we pretty much figured out like more or less the purpose of, or the origins of this world. But now we've actually discovered more the purpose of what all of the people living inside of it is. Um, so with this chapter that ended off uh, giving us, you know, filling in the rest of that and then moving into the new situation that we're going to be going forward with, so I just wanted to start off right off at the back or right off at the beginning here with this. So can the master or can the teacher be trusted? Can the headmaster actually be trusted right now? Uh, I don't know. Hmm. I, That's I, still an iffy thing for me. I'm, I'm not saying that he can't be trusted. I feel like he's just doing his purpose. He's I mean, doing his job. <laughs> I mean, we, we don't want to go with, I'm just doing my job here. <laughs> but he, like... He showed him this memory just because of what he was going to do with the stone. But now he's also revealed like the actual reason that even life exists in this world is because of these eldritch like gods that created it so that they could essentially feed off of it. But they've been missing or they've gone to sleep, uh, according to at least his memories. And he was given this power so that he could supposedly help enrich and grow um, the best crops or the best humans and individuals so that when they return, they're offered as a sacrifice to them. But, you know, we don't know how often that event occurs anyway, because that's one thing that he didn't show in the memory. And also, 
there hasn't been anything stated that you know he is fighting against them or he's making any moves to do something so the whole thing with him was just super vague so that makes me kind of wonder is like is he trustworthy even the mc was like can i trust you are, are uh, you, I, you know? it, it seems to me that he's more like um uh, he doesn't need to do anything since the person who's actually fulfilling their role also is the 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 what's his name um the regent yeah the regent there we yeah. go yeah well i mean that's now gives light that the regent that he, someone or uh, uh it may have been the, i'm not sure if it may have been the actual grandmaster himself but someone told the regent what the true what what's truly going on and he in turn told uh the um the main characters surrogate brother's dad what the actual truth was and he killed himself for it so um if the regent is doing this which it, it kind of seems like that is the case that he's essentially helping uh build this fodder for the sa for the coming sacrifice um where it you know of course the mc is gonna you know do something to probably fight against this anyway or uh he's gonna tell somebody or some individuals about it uh to potentially start something later on in the series but you know for right now now we have those basically two separate plot lines going on with uh this in the in the background and then the whole thing with him trying to get uh yb back on the throne so now now that it brings into question is the region a bad person if he knows this all the things all the all the evil that we've seemingly seen him doing all this time has actually been for this goal so, at that point then the question is would you just to bring up peter for some odd reason oh God. Would, you, would you blame uh like the nazi soldiers for, doing their, job? <laughs> for their job wow we're, we're already doing this why <laughs> it's so early it's just the first book come on you're the one who's asking like Okay, so the Regent's doing his job. I, I'm I, asking, I'm asking for you, but even so, this isn't the job of the Regent. It's the job of the supposedly the grad, the, the teacher, I mean, the, the headmaster. Of the region. Yeah, the headmaster. Job for the headmaster. Like he, he's just doing his job, and the, it almost he really has no way to refuse it, though. Well, that's the thing. Is there no way to refuse it? I mean, supposedly, if these these uh, these beings will die if they don't get this energy. They're not seemingly immortal without it. So, and that brings in the fact that they have to sleep in order to wait for there to be enough to, for them to even consume. So there's obviously a way to starve them or even battle against them. Um, so with that idea, it's like, do, are you sure he's just doing it to do his job? Or is he possibly doing something to potentially, you know, find a way to fight against them? You know, at what point do we think that he may cross over to be like, oh, no, no, he's doing this not just for the greater good, but just, you know, to, you know, start that, you know, revolution that eventually may occur. <laughs> that's like that. That's what I'm really trying to get after there. Our... I, I, I really have no idea because we just got background story and the the, the true motive of the like the headmaster isn't actually known yet. Well, it's He's just clear. kind of like, I'm here, and I'm letting you know why you can't create life. But he he has like it's it's weird because he's adverse against it. But well, the truth is, the funny thing he really shouldn't be. Yeah. Well, the funny thing is, is he said this isn't the reason why you can't create life. He just says this is the reason why you shouldn't. Yeah. He, he he's like this is morally wrong, but. The, he at the same time the reason why it really is besides yeah. like oh you have to kill life in order to make life is like does he know <laughs> that's that's the thing right because at this point he, the, the main character is like oh there's a bunch of like excess energy and like in all these mana stones and all stuff would it be feasible for me to create life with this he's not saying that oh i have to use up the life that already does exist to do this mm-hmm it always sounds like the headmaster's like, you can't do this because you're going to end up using resources that are dedicated to my masters that are the gods, the, the slumbering gods right now. Mm -hmm. This is a really, like, soft massage of uh, Full Metal Alchemist here in the Philosopher's Stones in a super nice way. <laughs> 
without, you know, dealing with all the uh, terrifying existential crisis and all the problems that come with it. <laughs> uh, but yeah, so uh, there was just a lot to bite from those, just those last couple of chapters going through everything. So um, hopefully in the later ones, I I'm sure this will be put into the background because I've only the main character knows he hasn't told anybody else. And right as this ended, we found out that the demon tribe is basically on the verge, well, isn't on the verge, they're going to war with the dwarves right now. And the regent uh, just came out and told him that he doesn't want to send any of the troops from their country to help, even though they are allies. Um, he used the guise of, we formed a pact with, the, with a non-aggression pact with the demon tribe, so we can't go against it. Also, we just got out of a battle, so we're exhausted. Um, but of course, uh, the MC and the, uh, the teacher marks is on, are basically like trying to defy the orders to go because they have, uh, some close connection with them. Um, but See, the, 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 the problem I have with this is that the only real race that existed on that planet beforehand were the demons, right? Uh no, because the demons were not the demons are not created by the gods. No, supposedly they all were created by the gods. The the humans, uh, it was the, the humans, human, the, dwarves, the, the, the and demons. Was it? Well, it was the humans, the beast tribe. Yeah, see, the demons. that's the thing: humans, beast tribe, and dwarves. But they never mentioned anything about the demons. I'd have to. So the demons it must be natural on that planet. Possibly, uh, they're 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 just a. Uh, a side bit of the life that was created from it they may also not um because there was something specific for the humans that why they wanted them for the sacrifice because they uh they exponentially grow so quickly but they're the weakest out of all the races um and i think the demon tribes while they're powerful they can't manipulate they're supposed to be that they can't no control and manipulate I, the energies I, that's why i was like no the way the story is telling is the demons are like the, the natural the like, natural life creatures. on that planet and then everything else was created by the quote-unquote gods of mm -hmm. that planet mm -hmm. or at least the ones that fell on like went on that planet yeah so uh yeah i'll have to take a look through that one again just to be sure but either way um that makes that's why, even... I'm, that's why i'm also confused because the regent knows the truth of like everything so why would you go attack the dwarves when like well, the he's purpose not. Yeah, no, no, but he's allowing the demons to mm -hmm. when the purpose of everything is to be like be abundant and then feed the gods. Well, supposedly the plan is is that the demon tribe's down aggression pack was more of a ruse because the demon tribe is supposedly going to give them in turn, uh, I think if it was five or ten years worth of, of their own of, lives. of their own lives. So they're uh, so they're but no, basically. No, but again, this is counterproductive to like the entire plan as to like why war should exist then well once again no one else knows the truth but these few individuals yes but then like again this is still counterproductive to their plan because the regent knows what supposed he's supposed to be doing and he comes from the long line of dragon family that has been doing this so why well, why? once again, that's why we're that's why we're speculating that we think I think he's doing something else in turn. He's trying to find a way to fight against them. So he wants someone else to be sacrificed so that he can in turn use the resources of the humans from the growing numbers to maybe fight back. He may have found a way to do something after all this time. That's why I said I don't know if he's actually, you know, as bad of the bad guy that we think he is. He's No, I'm willing to bet he's doing something really stupid like Watch, I, I stole the things that can make the like philosopher stones from sacrificing lives with the, the magic wand deuce ex machina stick thing <laughs> and now like he's like if I sacrifice all of these lives I could fight against the gods myself. Like, well we know that, that we know that the stones were shut were put inside of the uh the headmaster to make him as powerful and immortal. So, and we know that there are other stones in these hidden temples around the area. He may be collecting them and thinking, I will transmute them into myself, become as powerful or more powerful, just like the headmaster, and then I'll take on the gods. Because there's... It seems like a real dumb plan. I mean, is any plan ever great sometimes when it comes to reading manhwas or mangas? Come on. When it comes to anime... Yeah, anime like, give me, give me one point in which, like, the villain Nothing. has a competently great plan that isn't, like, 
self self-serving, self-centered, or you know, just completely insane. This seems real stupid. <laughs> I'm over here pondering like, yeah, you're just like ever, ever read one that had a great plan before? <laughs> Everyone's just like, when is there a great plan? When have they given us a great plan? Uh, but yeah, so, well, we've got more to go with to read on. We've got the I work. I just want something forward. logical. Okay. Can, can <laughs> I just have something logical? Like at what point, like, okay, if, if you were in the Regency, and at what point would you have looked at it? But like, yeah, if I totally do this, somehow I can combat the things that make this in the first place. Like, at what point is this a good plan? <laughs> I mean, at any point, especially if it's... They never second guess themselves. Yeah, I, they like, never do. First take, we're doing this. And also when it's like, well, my plan, it's either make a plan or die. I better come up with anything that'll work. So you tell me what's a bad plan at that point. Could have thought harder on it. Yeah, I mean they could have, but at the a same religion time. that perpetuates this to make sure that the life is abundant and just accept the outcome, anyways. So just be happy it that you're. Like Christians. Yay! <laughs> All right, we're gonna move on from that right after, Christianity. after that comment. God, why? <laughs> oh, sweet, sweet, sweet I mean, Seth. And, wrong, mm. though, but... uh, well, guys, with... don't worry. It's absolution after death, right? <laughs> But it, it, like, like, okay, if that was the plan, I could understand. Uh, that's what I'm just saying. Like, it makes, that makes way more sense than, like, guys, guys, I'm still going to end up sacrificing all of you to try to, like, fight against the gods that whom more than likely we're going to lose against. <laughs> well, once like, again, you're also assuming that's the plan. None of this has been stated. These are all assumptions. <laughs> so. If that's not the plan, then nothing else makes sense. <laughs> We have to figure out or wait till they tell us more of the plan. Once again, the villain has not stated that anything of what he's doing yet. These are only the these are only the small uh, glimpses that we've gotten from the headmaster and what he knows. We have no idea anything. The only of what thing the I can think of is this is going like full on full metal alchemist. I mean, it might sacrifice be sacrifice a shit ton of people to try to fight against God. That's I, all it is. It may be that. The first stone and everything. <laughs> Oh, oh, got one. Oh. All right, all made. right, all right. So we're gonna move on from this before Art completely has an aneurysm right here from all of the, all of the illogical logic that he's being thrown at here. Uh, but speaking of just you know crazy unrealistic gods coming out here, let's move over to uh, Dark Lady with our new chapter. Uh, Holy shit, dude! I wasn't expecting any of that to happen. Oh, I was you not. Mean he was either. beating ass until his. Power overflowed? Or well, guess, he right? was in the middle of doing his training in order to basically uh, perform the first awakening. And of course, because he's doing that, his uh, <laughs> uh, the aqua ring, of course, activates and pulls, her, pulls him into her realm. And right when he's in the middle of all of this, he gets attacked and he just apparently absorbs all the dark energy and, and just straight up attacks her. Um, Damn, they destroyed her. I mean, he, he definitely he definitely put up his fight. He definitely held his own against wait, it. Wait, wait. Are you guys still on 57? Uh, oh, 58. Yeah, it's 58. Okay, okay. Wait, we can short. Because I, like, I was like, I thought we were on 58. Okay. Yeah. Because he, he, he already got, he already was in the realm and he just obliterates her. Just right away. She's not, no match now. And he returned, and we see in the outside world that he's gone straight insane <laughs> with rage. <laughs> Um, I, I did like that the, uh, the Archduke, like, does the little fire, um, the fire palm right away again, which we saw him tank the first time and basically almost get KO'd, and this time he just, nope, absorbs the whole thing and goes, uh, I understand this energy, this is demonic energy, you shouldn't be using this. <laughs> this is a little scary, I am the last on. person you use that again. Yeah. <laughs> uh. <laughs> So that whole thing with magic now, magic being a problem for her, uh, problem for her before is now completely <laughs> negated. No, the, seemingly. Like if, if you can still teleport him away, it still works. Well, so far we he knows of the he knows of teleportation, and they've been using that as an escape goat. But there isn't saying that seemingly he's gained some few extra abilities now too because of this. So. There's nothing saying that he may... I don't think if he gained extra abilities, it's just more like he never went full on 100% before. 
Now he's just like, oh, there's no reason for me to hold back. I mean, he, he did go full 100% for, or at least uh, in his first awakening, he was to that level. But this is a different version, of course, also with different energies. So um, we're not sure exactly what everything, but I mean, this is, it's cleanly overwhelmed him. He's attacking allies now, just straight out allies. And, uh, no, no, they were none of them were ever allies, though. They I mean, were, they're the only pseudo person there allies. that's an ally is his fucking maid. Everyone else is like, nah, if, I'll just kill everyone here because they're the one who caused this problem in the first place. Uh, pseudo allies, I should say. Then, I mean, he still has a he still has a uh, a deal with you know the kingdom that he's now attacking straight out. <laughs> so. Um, but he never said he would never attack out the though. window at this point, dog. What's that, up? The door, the window's over there. Uh. <laughs> the, the, the deal's out the window. Uh, I mean, it's hard to say if the deal's entirely out the window. I mean, he clearly looks like he's just gone kind of insane. So, um, if and he, he told him that this is the aqua ruler, like, messed with him when he was trying to concentrate. This is true. And like, he wasn't supposed to be touched or anything. Like, you know what I mean? Yeah. And he then. Was... He would have been fine if the aqua ruler didn't fucking step in. I mean, the, he knew this. He knew that she was going to do know. this because she's been trying to do it for the last, you know, however many fortnights. But and now look at her, <laughs> damn near almost dissipated and almost showed her true form. Uh, yeah, but yeah, kick him out. But this is her plan, though. Well, like, that's, yeah, why she, that's why she was. That's why, yeah, next. that's why Nyarad was like, "Oh, this is interesting. This is another demonic god." And just like. Oh, okay. So this is all part of the plan. Okay. Well, he said that this is this feels like when I made the contact with a demonic god. So, um. No, I was talking about not uh, when oh, oh. after he defeats uh the aqua ruler the the naiad. naiad? Yeah. She's like, oh, this is interesting. It's like another demonic god, and she laughs like she like this is part of her plan or like the well, plan their of the plan gods all along. Well, yeah, seemingly their plan. Their plan so. There's still a bunch of things that we don't know what's working in the background, but still, um, regardless, uh, regardless for that part, just him going now insane. But this brings up those other things that you know we brought, um, we had from the other chapter that the red dragon was getting whiff of it, and he and I, I'm waiting for him to show up now because he's in full rage mode. He's attacking the other soldiers. Um, He's prob. Uh, I don't know if he's gonna Is attack. Is it the red dragon? I thought it was the gold dragon. Or the gold dragon. Sorry. He uh, does. He has. He, he has. Yeah, yeah, he the, has the, red. The, the he, red hair dragon. I'm gonna just say that. He, he, he showed yeah, up at the end. Yeah, he does show up at the end though. So. He uh, shows up at the end after uh, uh, Dark's the, the, fucking powers are going berserk because it seems like they're consuming him, but they might not be consuming him because he's also. It sounds like he's talking about like a, a some sort of technique. He's like, but how? And then the <laughs> gold dragon shows up. It's like, nah, just sleep, sleep. <laughs> yeah, fucking got palm across her whole face and everything. Uh, so yeah. <laughs> so hopefully we've got uh, a re uh, a recalmed dark and a new level completely attained for after just the pure rampage. Um, I I don't know if that's going to change it. I'm sure it's going to change. Uh, a few of the relationships going forward not to mention big time not to mention the uh we still had the the gosu and also the other spiritualists who were trying to kill or capture him who the fuck can compare to dark right now i'm just i'm just curious besides the dragons well we still um, don't know okay, what the, yeah i was gonna say the dragons probably the, the the spirit king the spirit king the dragons i don't know what the gosu can do he feared him prior but we don't know how powerful he is and we yeah. don't know and we know we, that there are these other. Oh, sorry. What are you gonna say? I was saying we just saw him fight a master level. Mm -hmm. You know, like he wasn't Gosu level like the other master, but he was definitely a master that he. Fought no, he was like, oh, team. you're you're just. I, I'm surprised you reached the rank of demonic disciple, which is not really a master. He's just like, you just. Well, I now understand. In their, yeah. in their world, not Dark's world. But, yeah. You know. So, <laughs> hopefully they. Maybe uh, the elf could keep up. Ah. Uh, Maybe? Maybe it's very plausible. I mean, he for, does like, have that ring for like over a couple hundred years, type shit. You know? Yeah, I mean, he's just holding. Yeah, it but he, the, the, he wasn't really like the user of it though, because he uh, was just so happened to be uh, also the uh, the guardian of the blue Stop. dragon, right? Mm -hmm. Yeah, or the well, guardian or lover of it. Either way, he's uh, he still had a powerful object that he either chose not to use or um, was just it holding chose it. not him. 
it maybe he may have even like ne needed it for just another candidate that they could use for their plan so um yeah we right now we can't we, there's no one we can think of to compare a hundred percent but we do not know entirely of everything in the world yet so there's probably others out there that are still powerful or more powerful than dark um they just haven't been you know present to this uh to this extent yet um not to mention we still have an entire other kingdom that more or less controls all of the land so they obviously have probably have a few you know overly powered people just rolling around there um but yeah no this was this was a hype chapter <laughs> i was excited to see this go all the way down um I actually now don't I'm think I read this. See what happens further on. Like, what's the red dragon gonna do? Is he just gonna off him right there? Or is he I mean, yeah, I mean, wing type shit. Be like, <laughs> you gotta control this demonic power, whatever the fuck it is, dog. You gotta calm down. <laughs> all that. We ain't uh, having none of that over here, dog. I mean, <laughs> maybe it, over at the other kingdom ship sure, over here, dog. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, you gotta figure out exactly how you're gonna handle this. Either cut the problem off right at the source, or um hell they might even find another way to just sap him of his power just be like you can you you're you're you clearly weren't ready for this so we're just gonna put a nice uh a skill cap right there for you for right now until you uh get a hold on that slap on the seal oh <laughs> uh, but yeah so hopefully the next chapter we get um there'll probably be maybe a bit of a lull chapter while he tries to recover um it does look like his body transformed a little bit so he's a little a little taller uh, grown out a little bit more, so... Slowly getting back to his, uh, regular height. Yes, slowly but surely. So, uh, yeah. So hopefully, yeah, that, that one keeps going strong. I'm really excited to see what the next chapter brings out of that, for sure. Uh, but let's keep moving on here in our stories. Uh, we'll move over to, since we got the lady, let's go to the dad. Uh, how about Peerless Dad for this one? <laughs> uh, so we, uh, we finally made it to the quote unquote village. village slash uh headquarters for the bad guys and um pretty much this entire chapter we're more or less just following him as he's kind of like all of this seems strange this clearly is a trap i can tell it's a trap um he makes it into the village beats up all of the all of the thugs and holds it off and then they start celebrating before the night's over trying and, to drug him with alcohol yes or drugged alcohol uh, which I was like, mm, this scene, I could even tell right away. I was like, okay, this is all too easy to go with. And right away, the villains come in, and okay. all of the all, all of the uh, all of the thugs are tied up. But at the very end, he sees the two elders of the village that called them here are also tied up and beat the crap out of him. He's like, what the fuck's going on? And that's when you know he turns around and he's just like, he's just like, so what's up? You uh, if you're gonna if you're gonna you're gonna spring a trap. You know, you should probably make sure that you should do you, it a little bit better. A little better, <laughs> and they just throw out right there. <laughs> they start so. throwing down, and then like we see fist martial arts from a bandit nobody, and mm -hmm. then the first rate warriors using fist martial arts, and they're both like, "What the fuck is going on? How come we both could use fist martial arts like this?" <laughs> this isn't something that I thought you were just a first rate nobody warrior. What the hell? I thought you was a nobody bandit. Hold on. <laughs> <laughs> Something's not right here. So we just got the, we got a standard drug out fight. Pretty simple. Um, this was just more or less just the, the, the filling, the filling chapter we needed while they're getting through this entire quest. Um, but yeah, any, uh, any, any big revelations we got from this one, Art or Jimmy? No, not really. It was, not really. it was really simple. Not, not, yeah. Nothing really happened at all. There's no... Uh, I was actually expecting like maybe a a panel or two about his kids, but like mm -hmm. nothing happened. No, they they straight focused on him in this one. So, mm -hmm. I mean, I, I figured that we gotta we gotta move that story along with him getting over there. We know that Ox was back home with his kids. Dog. Exactly. So we know Ox too busy uh, beating down, uh, you know, the, the local administrators in the, in the, in the, in the local. You know, <laughs> yeah, and the kids are off. You know, potentially becoming mini gods themselves. So figure that we get we get a nice Mini solid chapter <laughs> we get a solid chapter with brother no so we're uh we'll probably get through the fight and either this will be uh a more intense fight and he may end up unlocking or opening up a power off of this guy because they're both like they both seemingly don't realize exactly how powerful each other uh, are 
and I'm guessing the warrior is gonna, uh, uh, the bandit's gonna throw out something that's, you know, not a uh, regular move. And that's when Nao's gonna either deflect or try and do something and pull out some hidden talent. Um, kind of hoping that that's where this gets to and we actually get him to that, you know, awakened state where he finally starts using his abilities going forward. Um, either way. He's been getting a lot of, like, him training. To that's what I'm saying, yeah. It, so it'd be nice to see him duke it out. Well, I mean, that was the whole thing that we got. I feel like this is set up from those previous chapters because we got that whole thing with all the other masters, you know, realizing that, you know, he's starting to uh he's starting to display those abilities and they're like no no we're not gonna bug him we're just gonna let him because he'll eventually break through that barrier and get to that next stage and i'm wondering if this fight's gonna bring that out of him finally and i'm looking i don't know if the other masters don't know if they whether they know or not that he can't use in inner energy well no no they know that he can because he's slowly been using it he just hasn't realized it, and they none of them tell him because we see the the sword, I, the sword I, queen I, I know, says I feel, it. I feel like the reason why the masters leave him alone is because like no, just leave him alone because he's another master. They don't at no point do they assume that he's at a breakthrough point or anything. None well, of them have ever like oh yeah, be, the only one who's ever been like that is um, uh, what's his Nunya. Okay, where Nuna is like, oh yeah, here let me help you out. Everyone else is like. Yeah, just kind of like leave him alone because he's also another master. You don't have to worry about him dying at any point. When in reality, they really should. <laughs> kind of, a little bit, you know. <laughs> he does put it's himself not about in dying, just worrying about him and his abilities. Yeah, but um, yeah, Nunya is the only one that's. But she has like she's noticed that he hasn't like actually crossed that barrier. Nunya is a he. Or sorry, <laughs> uh, the sword, uh, the sword uh, queen. Sword, uh, the sword, sword master, master yeah. Sky master, yeah, she's actually stated out loud, you know, like, oh, I realize he's not um, completely uh, understanding of the inner energy, but I can tell that he's slowly starting to get it. And even in, even Did those she? I don't recall that at all. I, I, I felt like that was more like she was just saying, just nah, just leave them alone because he's perfectly fine. He doesn't need our help. <laughs> I could have sworn in the, one of the panels she states that, like, that was the reason she said leave him alone because he needed it for the experience. So, but either way, um, hopefully the next chapter we actually get that full out and figure out what's going on next word, or we'll head back to the hometown and see what's going on either with Akka, the kids, because um, we know all these stories are kind of happening multiple simultaneous times, and there, <laughs> there, there are some that we're more invested in seeing what will come forward, not to mention the two twins who are worrying everybody because of their abilities just exploding mm. left and it's right it's not their abilities it's the fact that they show up beating each other up to like oh yeah oh, we fell down the fucking stairs well, one master is worried about the blood. bruises but the other masters are worried about the one who went to the uh the archive in the library is worried about what abilities that they're displaying so yeah you gotta remember there's multiple different masters doing a ton of different things with these kids right now so Personally, I just need more of Uncle Ock. <laughs> you just want Ock. He's that's all you want. He's fuck, dude. He's so mysterious and it's wild. I just want to see his fighting abilities. I want to see more of him. Yeah, yeah. It, it's just a me thing. Like, I get that this is about Noah and his kids, but I just want to see a bit more of Ock. Uh, <laughs> he's a tight character. Yeah, yeah. I know he is. I do like seeing Ock. He's, an, he's a nice little random bit of uh, just fun energy, fun murderous energy that appears every now and then. <laughs> oh, man. But yeah, so I think we got everything out of that wood for right now until we get the next chapter. Um, this was definitely just kind of a one and done for uh, th this uh, this arc for this one right now. But hopefully the next ones will get a little bit more into there for, to bite off for a talk. But moving on here, let's keep moving forward since... Uh, we got one nice character. Let's move on over to the Descent of the Demonic Master. Uh, back at boot camp in the middle of uh, ranger training. And uh, we got uh, one of our one of our fellow soldiers went down, but our MC is there to help him out. <laughs> He's down, but not out. Not out. Not out at all. Um, Ark, I was going to bring this up. Is, uh, is training like this that murderous for them? Uh, it's, for, me, for me, it... For the, me, in my experience in the Marine Corps, that was very much like the the Crucible, where like at the very end is the thing where every single Marine recruit uh, does, you know, like a, a final climb up a mountain, mm -hmm. and that's what that was. Okay. So that's very accurate. Though. That's very accurate like, to that. Yeah. It, you know, I, I've seen people drop out like that, where, you know, you have a person who's like, 
I can't carry on anymore. And what you do is you get everyone else is like, okay, well, we've got someone here who can carry your shit, put your stuff, you know, they'll, they'll carry your shit. You, all you have to do is literally climb the mountain. Just, mm. just lean forward and keep walking. That's yeah. all this is at this point. Just make it. Yeah. Well, uh, well, unfortunately, well, not unfortunately, but greatly since we have <laughs> our uh, our MC, he wasn't just going to carry a shit, but just carry the whole person. I mean, like, hold on, hold on, hold on. Yeah. Hold on. I mean, stop, you. Stop all that. <laughs> we don't need you to carry it like that. <laughs> so, so, so it's okay. I got this. Ah. <laughs> uh, but you know, the the struggle ends. They do get their ten day break. <laughs> Which a homeboy who was clearly in a trance was so happy, but and then Gang Jin Ho theoretically gets like a thirty day break because he, yeah, because of course being the best of all the soldiers, he gets an extra ten day break on top and then of he his. Got promoted. Then he gets promoted. <laughs> He's no longer the newest recruit in their platoon, and uh, I believe he stole the completed his bed. God. <laughs> and then also, yeah, like you said, he's got another uh, end break after all of that, which get him into a 30 day break. So he's pretty much got a month off, which I'm probably going to say with Ark, that doesn't happen really at all. That this is just clearly for the story. No, this, yeah, this is clear for the story. Yeah, okay. I, at least for, in my experience in Marine Corps, there's, that is way too many days. Like, that is, that is, I, it's That's not damn like, near impossible. I am not saying like people do not get that those many days off, but it is like, it is like with the exception like someone coming home from war or someone coming home from like like six months out in a submarine or out at sea or yeah. something like there, there yes i understand there are moments like that but not for like oh yeah you went through training once you get this many days off cool then you come back for your secondary training for your main whatever you're doing your, mm -hmm. your main training and then after that, then you're like, oh, okay, now here's another 30 days off. I'm like, that training was no more than like 30 days. There's no way like you deserve another 30 days off after this again. I'm just saying. But I mean, he's so much better than everyone else. I mean, exceptionally. So, <laughs> uh, well, at we least count. <laughs> technically, but I mean, at least that this will pretty much end the arc, I guess, for the military stint that he's in so for the time being. for the time being i mean i because uh, the other um the other recruits said that he was pretty much after the uh the break he was it, it it would complete his entire run he would be done and then he made the comment that because uh Gin Jing ho made 30 days he would get off before him because this would finish his uh essentially the rest of his service as well so this might actually be the end arc for this i'm not sure but um, either way, it's good timing that he's getting those 30 days because the chapter ends with him getting a phone call. And the old lady nun is having problems. Ooh, is it the old lady nun or? Yeah, yeah no, it, it, it's, it's the, the old lady nun. Okay. The old lady yeah. nun. okay. S sister, yada yada, she yeah. got a name. <laughs> and then they cut it off there. They cut it off right there. So. And I'm just like, bruh, is she okay? <laughs> We, we regret to inform you, she's become a new Eldritch God. <laughs> I mean, <laughs> with his abilities, I'm not too, I, I wouldn't be too surprised. I wouldn't be too, yeah. yeah. <laughs> I wouldn't be too surprised that, like, old lady, like, you know, get an extra, like, 30 years yep. of life, you know. <laughs> and also some new abilities now. <laughs> she's, she's, fucking, she's, she's, she's suddenly fucking. able to bench press a car. Wouldn't surprise well, well, me. Gang Jin Ho's ass. <laughs> I mean, you know, it, it wouldn't surprise me, but yeah. So of course we got to end on that little side cliffhanger of all things. So hopefully either it's not terribly bad news or if it is the worst that we feared to come because of all of this, you know, we'll get that somber episode or a somber chapter coming from this going forward. But either way, uh, this was just exciting to see the end of out. Um, of course, just all the hilarious jokes and japes that we got from it um not too not too much to really bite on here with that or really go over and analyze all the way down other than the few bits of uh one-to-one -one, uh actual military life that we see them go through but yeah so any last words on this one from you two no nope nothing i right. well it's all good so we can uh, we'll move on over here something else a little bit more crunchy to bite on how about uh our worst kind of hero the trash hero yeah <laughs> that face that face sarah <laughs> this man. guys i have all my abilities from the last time with all their stat numbers yes 
but because I start at level one again when I gain levels, it now has the multiplicative stack on top of it. <laughs> wait, what? Wait, what? That, My wait. ability stack? Hold on. Wait, that's not how this works. That's uh, not how it's supposed to work. I'm confused. Oh, uh, so yeah. Um, this can, man is can absolutely we, can wild. We, uh, I mean. Did we just just walk into Cheat Hero all over? I mean, he just got a game shark and went, "Fuck y'all!" <laughs> Gave myself every ability. Let me go he around and do this. Game shark. <laughs> oh, but so he just straight up is like, "I'm just I, I'm just gonna go right for the dark path away and go straight to the uh, the queen's lair in the forest." And of course, ends up running into a demon right away. And because of his all his stacked abilities he's got before, um, the yeah, way the his, demon his stats of the black heart, the dragon heart that he yeah. ate, um, like a S double S rank. A double demon. S rank. He's basically you know. a demon himself. <laughs> and no, it, it gave him basically a glitch where he retains his abilities from the last time. Yes, but one of the abilities uh, being a, a, a demonic ability. Uh, he supersedes another demon and basically just bends him to his will and, and becomes Yeah, he's like, no, no, bro. I am more powerful than you. <laughs> Sit down, <laughs> B-Rank. <laughs> uh, so... Straight up calling out his whole rank and everything. Man, he did so, nerdy. <laughs> so this run is going to be the demon run. He's just going to become the new demon king. He's going to become the Antichrist. I mean, he's going to become something. <laughs> the anti-hero. <laughs> that was his job class last run. Mm -hmm. After, like, he was just going off batshit crazy. He was the anti-hero. <laughs> uh, so, and he's using, he's going to use the demonic, uh, the demonic servants that he's got there to control the town now is what he is, what his last order is. Take over were. the entire just kingdom. Take over the I mean, kingdom. Just the town, just the kingdom. So, uh, <laughs> Uh, yeah, this is, this is not going any way that I would think <laughs> at all. That, it's fine. That, That's why I like this. This, this goes <laughs> in its own ways. It takes its own 180 after 180. But, and but I'm I, just like, dude, this is the most wild webtoon I've ever read. Uh, but I, it is still, it, I'm still telling you, this is following all in line with everything from I Hate Fairyland in so many ways. Like, it's fine. <laughs> It's it, just leave it. It's there. It's gonna happen. But now I'm just like, okay. So his comments are constantly of, "I want to go home." I'm all doing this to get back to my own world, but I am clearly choosing the path that will not get me there at and all. Other kid is like, "I want to stay here. Fuck I home." Think it, I just I just watched the guys to show up. We're like, you know what? We are just going to send you home. You know it's not gonna happen <laughs> because we we can't have you keep leveling up. Because now you're dangerous. Now like, you're now you. Now, you I, before you were dangerous, but now you're now a you are <laughs> extremely dangerous. dangerous. You're you're now you a, are threat. a threat. To our you goal. are a threat to God. <laughs> uh, I mean, right. they, yeah, he's slowly that's building a, that that's way. A pinnacle level right there, where you are a threat. To I'm pretty God sure that's what that himself. is, right? It's going to end up being like, you know what? I'm just going to turn and fight the gods now because I mean, it's their fault. You could have sent me home, but you didn't. <laughs> All I want you to do was go home. I want to take a poo in my own toilet <laughs> back at home, all right? I need plumbing. I miss my fucking video games. Uh, you know, my anime characters and shit, man. Just uh, let me go home so I don't, so I don't ruin everything. Tanya, the saga of evil. Oh, did, God. Did, did, they send, did they send her home? Mm. No. Did she, yeah, but she openly she, admit that she was going to fucking do everything to yeah, come but after the, them? The, the difference of Tanya <laughs> is that her abilities stem from the <laughs> god himself, and she literally cannot fight against them. But I mean, there's nothing to say it, that. There, and also, like. But what's the difference? Don't all of the hero's abilities eventually, at first, stem from the gods, and then he finds something that essentially no, the, but gives the him powers? Is she's not a glitch where she can bypass anything. Not the, yet. <laughs> the, no, no, she she never does. You. Oh, okay. I mean, I'm not. I'm never going to like. I'm not going to reveal anything more. Please than that, don't. But because that because that that's a really good story, anyways. But no, she she she's just always going to fight against mysterious being X. But that's because he's a fucking petty ass god compared to the other gods. Yes, but I mean, this god is not petty for just letting him leave. 
those gods. Those gods, I mean... or these gods, or I don't know however many there are. <laughs> Again, because, like, okay, so the assumption is he's not the first F-ranked hero, though. Uh, is, is that, that an assumption? First... Yeah, because it, cause it definitely looks like they've had a system before where they talk about, like, oh, no, because if, if this was the first time he's failed, then they'd be like, okay, what do we do with him? No, this is like, no, we have a system where if you fail, well, this we send you back. Okay, th this isn't the first time your, that someone's failed. Lesson. Yeah, this isn't the first time that we've had someone. So, yeah, we, the, the assumption is the main character of Trash Hero is not the first person to have failed in the eyes of the gods at being a hero. Mm -hmm. Because the whole purpose at this point is to make you a better person, I guess. But yes. this is a very arbitrary way of doing that. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Since uh, it, it stems from Since we have some the, we, have the, we also have the example of the B hero who... He's really not a good person. No, he's not. He, he's like, not really. He, and the assumption that like... At the end, after the B hero defeats the Demon King, that somehow he's going to be a better person. Well, he'll learn through all of the trials to become a better person. That's a lot of assumption that, like, I mean, th this seems like a terrible system to teach someone to be a better person. When you're like, here, we gave you the ability to have all the power, and you're like, man, how the fuck does like 99% of the people do not become corrupt and be like, yeah, we all failed. Why? Because we were all the most powerful people ever. I mean, who the fuck cares about anyone else? I mean, at that point, you might as well question every, like, book ever, every fantasy book that does the exact same thing, really. No, that's the thing, though, because they are bad people, though. That's mostly, like, like, <laughs> like right now, like, right now, most power fantasies or ends up being like, no, I went around and I made a harem and I fucked every single girl possible. I mean, yeah, because but... this is a power fantasy. <laughs> and that's exactly how it, how, like, more than likely it would end up being, right? Yeah. It would. <laughs> It's like, like what, uh, what's, what? what's that superhero show? Um, um, Which um, one? Like, you have to give me a description before I could help you. <laughs> Hero, or heroes, powers. I mean, heroes is a good example of it too, where like yeah. well, almost everyone who had a power ends up being a bad guy at one point or another, basically. I mean, yeah, when you Besides just... Hero himself. Yes, because... Hero's the only one who never yeah, becomes Hero evil. is the- Hero is that 1%. Everyone else is a douchebag. Everyone else becomes a douchebag, okay? So, but I mean, yeah, you, you give someone unfettered power, it makes sense that, you know, they'll do terrible things with- Just because you gave them something doesn't mean they'll suddenly change who they are and become a, a better person, but- in this world uh, that he's in, he's been given, you know, tests and roadmap, a, a roadmap that kind of forces him to make those decisions to become a better person. You know, he, he just doesn't have complete free reign, supposedly, and he's more or less using that power to more, uh, more than anything, Dude, give like himself game, free reign. This is like a game of Fallout, and then you went around, you killed everyone, and then, <laughs> and then I mean, yeah, he is basically in a, a game of Fallout. Like, Game, I would like, I would challenge you to try to challenge me because I'm gonna tell you this, I killed everyone already anyway. <laughs> I mean, it's not, it's not incorrect. This is kind of like a uh, fantasy, a uh, uh, fantasy Fallout or Skyrim. He, they basically just gave him unfettered abilities and he's allowed to technically do anything he wants with them. Uh, even though there's a grade system at the end, he still oh, there, is allowed there's to. the main story. You have to finish the main story. Yeah, but. <laughs> I'm gonna go do it my way, yeah. and I'm gonna end up killing everyone. I mean, the main story is just complete this one objective, right? Okay, I'm just gonna skip everything else and just go to the main objective. If, if, okay, I would be perfectly fine if the whole point was like at the beginning, the gods told you, oh, hey, you're supposed to defeat the Demon King, and along the way, learn how to be a better person. Fine, that's part of the main quest, but when you do not get told that, <laughs> Then it's like, I could do whatever I want, though. You never said I couldn't. <laughs> so what you're saying is these gods are terrible game designers. <laughs> yes. Yes. Very, very terrible game designers. So um, the gods are essentially EA. Got it. All right. Perfect. We found hey, the glitch wait, of this. Wait, wait. <laughs> no, no. Don't say that. Yeah. EA put out the new Star Wars game. That was a good one. It, how many how many terrible things that they had to give us before that? Hey, hey, all you it means that you get one, so you get, <laughs> you're like, oh, okay, you're not completely terrible. 
Mm, mm, okay, I guess. Everybody gets one. Everyone gets one. <laughs> uh, you are you're a horrible, horrible advocate. You know that arc. Just a terrible one. Uh, either way, so <laughs> we've got our trash hero. We just diverted so hard. We got a trash hero on his way to basically becoming the Demon King, if anything, in this world. Because he's he's now taken over an entire cult. He's gonna take over the kingdom. I'm pretty sure at some point the B hero is gonna get wind of this in some way. Um, Try and stop him. Yeah, I mean it's not gonna. It's really not gonna do and anything. And B hero is gonna get his shit kicked. In. I'm kind of hoping that's what's gonna happen, and they'll just like instant fail him right there. Like you weren't supposed to do that. Start over. <laughs> uh, but either way, right back. <laughs> um, yeah, I, 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 I'm, I'm happy for the next chapters for this because I want to see how, what stupid thing we get. It's, everything is just always off the rails with this issue with these comics i don't know where we're going at all um the hero just makes every smart logical decision but is always the like evilest of decisions it seems sometimes um yeah so uh at, le at least this one you didn't completely spoil it for me arc uh ahead of schedule granted me being the slow reader um but yeah, so anything last on this one that I missed out of that? I don't know if I saw anything in the background there. No. No? I right. mean, uh, I like how, uh, what's her name? Lanovel, she sticks around him because she's like, yeah, the B hero isn't interesting. You're the interesting one. And you're like, wait, what? how do you know this? <laughs> well, I'm an archeologist, so I just have that side of intuition, I guess. Uh, I, I also do not hate her. She's I mean, a bit annoying at times, but she's not like a bad person or character, though. No, not really. She's, she's just like, like, like we said, she's like Navi. She's from, Navi, but not from Zelda. Too Zelda. super annoying. Not too super annoying as Navi, but it's real close. So, uh, but yeah, <laughs> we'll move on from that one since we've uh, definitely gone through so much with uh, the, the, the trash hero. Uh, Art's favorite fucking person on the planet, I guess, right now. But we'll move over here. Not into... favorite, most relatable. Oh, yeah, you know. <laughs> well, let's find someone else that we can relate to over with Inso's Law, since we got three new chapters out of that. Uh, Jimmy, uh, uh, Seraph, I know you're my go-to usually with the Inso's Law, because... Uh, well, how are they going to try and start a fight in the middle of the street? They didn't start in the middle of the street. They were on a sidewalk. Well, on the sidewalk. It, but, it, no, but, who the fuck starts a fight in public like that? Oh, come on. In general. Yeah, really? really? Wait, 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 okay, the, on, I'll get there. The, the, really? The only way this, who starts a fight. The only way this works is because it takes place in, quote, unquote, like, in Otome a, game. A, a, Otome so, webtoon like, game? Come on. So, like, I guess this is the way the rules work. <sighs> I mean, how many, how many foreign films martial arts or otherwise have we watched where this very thing happens where someone starts a fight in just a random public area come on yeah so uh, be, yeah, yeah, it, because yeah, it yeah. takes place in a fictional world knowing that it is a fictional world it's fine it's believable it makes sense for them but yeah so <laughs> um not we, saying it's the smartest thing to do but no of yeah, course not it happens uh um, but right Draven suplexes ass to get <laughs> He's gonna, I hope she pulls the perfect pose and everything, just like with the pr the principal with the deer in that one. Oh god! In that one <laughs> anime, anyway. just, <laughs> battling ah! the deers. Uh, yeah. So we know we got uh, we got Dan I getting yelled at by her parents the previous night for failing her uh, failing her uh, her test. No, not even failing. Not failing. Okay, not not. not bad she they, she got bad marks. She didn't even get bad marks though. She got like average marks, is what she said. It's because she has her friend. They're the main comparing them to Yuri. Who they compare her to? Yes. It's, it's which the, the I, classic I have but no idea why it's like that. Like I'm like I would look at them like this is like this is that's like my parents. Okay. And I, I mean, I was gonna say. Like, you, what do you mean? It's not like that. I get it. With the, it's with a sibling. <laughs> you know, like comparing you to a sibling, but comparing you to the next door neighbor. I mean, that makes sense. You know, when, when, when I was going to say, it was like, when Art brought that up, he's like, I didn't understand that. I'm like, what are you talking about? That That is totally the no, culture no, no. all around for family. What I'm saying is, I, it doesn't make a lot of sense as to like, uh, as why that would happen. But I mean, like I'm saying, I understand it in reality. It's like the weirdest part of like, that is the one part that's like the most realistic thing in this, where it's like, yeah, 
I have Asian parents. I understand that they would be like, hey, look at your one friend. And <laughs> you you're got... like, bitch, stop comparing me to my one friend. <laughs> I see you brought that's us because, A's. That's because <laughs> but these are they're pluses. my friend and that person is smart does not mean I am smart. That's not how this works. Uh, it's exactly how parents think it should work, though. You know that. <laughs> That's not how it works, though. You brought you brought home A pluses, but they're not they're not A triple pluses, motherfucker. Ah, uh, go back and do it again. <laughs> it's like that video of, of my Tony and his dad going, B prosh, you heard of B prosh? <laughs> uh, this is this is so many different like just one off clips of just your parents just are never happy with the success you bring them, regardless of what it is. <laughs> uh. Uh, de Facts. definitely Facts. definitely something this trifecta of culture people will very much understand <laughs> we all have been that we've all been in that situation no matter what it is uh but yeah so Danai is just completely distraught with that she has her friends come over and <laughs> um i do like just once again as always just like the Otomo game uh, all her friends come over and she has, she's been given no head up that they were going to show up and, you know, they do the whole thing, um, you know, everyone's cared for and everything. And of course she decides to try and get out of the situation for a little bit by going to the store and right away fight in the middle of the street, <laughs> breaks out sidewalk, thank you. on the sidewalk. And one of them tries to wrestle the phone away from her cause she's trying to call the police and she falls into the street. And the first, and the one in the chapter ends with truck. <laughs> and I was just like, really? Really? We're gonna doing lie. this? <laughs> I thought that was the end of It's So's Law. And I was like, all right, it's over. It's done. All right, <laughs> up and go home. Yep. Just pack our stuff up. We're, we're, we're doing this. Uh, but luckily, it she the truck doesn't hit her, but she does wind up under the truck. So... Some miracle. Some miracle. She winds up under it. Um, no, that's because she doesn't realize that she has main character plot armor. I mean, that's yeah. That, that's the best but she, part. But that's yeah. the one thing she hasn't realized about this yet. That she's the main character, yes. But she forcefully puts it that everyone else is just the main characters and she's the side character. Um, but we, uh, w w the story continues from there with, um, I cannot remember homeboy's name. It's, is it, is it, is it Eon? E Ehong? Eun? Eun, thank you. He is, uh, he's on the ground basically having a panic attack because we all remember that, you know, his mom died in a car accident and he's just about to see her. All the people to go with her, dog. I mean, know? it oh, set it up right away to it. I even kind of called it what I was saying. I was like, oh, those two are going for a walk. Oh, they're on a corner. Oh, I know, where the, here comes the truck. Mm. And <laughs> just... They just, they just gotta make, they gotta mess with you. They gotta mess with those heartstrings all over the place with that. Uh, luckily, everything calms down. You know, they go back home, but he's, she's shook. And he's that's, definitely he's shook. definitely shook. He's just straight up. But that's when they, uh, they get together when she's in a room and they decide we need to handle the situation with the bullies <laughs> because Man, we can't have this continue. Like an all out brawl and she was getting grabbed. I was like, Hoping, just hoping for Blondie to show up and just be like, so I was what's good. I was kind of, I, I honestly was for a bit when she got pushed in the street. I was expecting Blondie to like do the scoop up out of nowhere and save her, but you know, that they is. decided to go with the the shock factor instead. So, um, because that would seem more prevalent for you know the Atoma game, you know, that she gets yeah. saved by someone is someone else, but no, they they don't. So, um, I don't know if that's maybe if they were trying to use that hand, if that's the author, like kind of like pointing out to her, like, Hey, don't get it twisted. <laughs> you, you can still be completely removed from this at any time. Don't, don't ever let, don't ever let that go. Um, but <laughs> yeah, so I'm going to guess the next chapter is going to be a, a straight up street fight. Dan I's group and Euro Yang versus the bullies. Cause it seems like that's what they're planning to try and take care of. Uh, I mean, he might as well. He seems he's not going away. And then the dude who pushed him in the street is definitely gonna get rocked. Uh, I'm I'm sure he'll wind up in a, in a shallow grave somewhere. I'm not worried about him <laughs> at all. Uh, I'm kind of hoping that you know we still haven't seen other homeboy bully show up yet. I'm I'm waiting for him to appear. 
because he zoomed in on him in that one panel. And we know that, there. And we know that he's the he's the other at least delin known delinquent in the school. So I'm kind of waiting for him to step in and just be like, "I, right, we're you're done. <laughs> we're gonna finish this out because you, you're getting too crazy." But yeah, you messed up with my girl. This ain't happening. This ain't uh, happening. Uh, my, my heart can't take that. Just so many, so many chapters and issues this week with just characters right on the edge of things. Just nearly, I don't know if these are close to the ends or what, but just ah, uh, I don't know why. <laughs> um, so yeah, uh, hopefully go. Hopefully our next chapter will will get either a street brawl or we're gonna get some. Uh, I don't know. I don't even know if it's going to get more character development with this or what we're going with here at the next ones. Cause it was crazy. Cause like, it was like six guys and just that one. Dude and just the one dude. Handle, like, all of them. <laughs> all of them. I mean, they are, he is, he is one of the four Kings. So it makes sense that he's perfect at, at doing this. You know, I, I feel like you're going to need a small, probably a, maybe a one or two small platoons to kind of take these guys down. I just want to see little homie go ham. That is long. I'm kind of waiting for him. I feel like he's a mastermind of craziness like, since he hasn't done anything other than sit in the background and just kind of smile and eat something. <laughs> and he's the one who made a plan, supposedly. This whole webtoon is just... <laughs> <laughs> Everything is just like, my it, mind it, can't wrap around my mind. I, I, I can't either. I don't, I don't know exactly what to think of all of this that I see when I read these. It's just it's crazy out the way. Uh, Ark, how about you? Any insight from, uh, since you, I, you're more the one I would think that's played most of Otomi games out of anything. I mean... I have only played probably one or two. <laughs> uh, I play, like, anything that's story-driven. I, I Well, so, yes. So, a lot. A lot. <laughs> but, yeah. Uh, I don't know. This, this is not the usual Otome game, because this is the... Anti -otome? perspective of the best friend of the Otome game, but the <laughs> best friend is the main character of the Otome game. So, is it just breaking your mind? <laughs> no, it's just it's different. So, mm. so, so, okay. At best, the best we can say is that we, since we know that she's the main character, she has plot armor. So, like, that's why she didn't get run over by the truck, mm -hmm. or like, like she's not going to die. All right. And she she might get like scraped here and there, but like you know, sure, whatever. The 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 problem comes from everything is like how the world interacts with her and mm -hmm. not like with the other uh, the supposedly the main character characters. of the game. Yeah. So, well, I mean, she may have that plot armor, or at least around her. But I mean, that also means that all the other characters are now susceptible to anything that could happen to them because of it. Because it'll be more of a reflection of everything that'll happen to them, and then in turn, internally, what's going to happen with her, since uh, you know she's slowly now we're past that point of her uh, now being willing to care about all of them. Um, granted, I, she did make that comment about she wants to be an adult, and I don't know if that's supposed to be like once she's at that level, she can like let them go, or you know they don't have to be so, so close knit. I'm not sure what that what, what the comment is supposed to be on that. Um, I didn't have any insight on that one really all the way, but either way, uh, this th this was still fun to read all the way through. And finally, that we got you know a new chapter out of uh, out of all of those three, in, in fact. So that was good. Um, mm -hmm. Hopefully, we'll, uh, we'll we'll keep that same pace here. Uh, let's go ahead and I say we'll move on to our last one uh, out of all of this with some terror going over to the sweet home. So this is Jimmy's. This is this is definitely that, but either way, uh, yeah, bro. That's... What do we got to say about uh, that revelation? <laughs> it was just wild to me. Like, <laughs> how was somebody going to touch you, and then like your inner demon just goes, "I am your soul." <laughs> 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 I'm just like you're not really a soul, but like. I mean, okay, I can't. You know. I, I, can I say you're not my soul? Can I say you're not my inner thoughts? What What exactly are are you? I even I don't know what I, what exactly I'm in at this point. What you know? are we? <laughs> are we you? Am Am I me? I, I I'm gonna go sit down somewhere. Oh, <laughs> uh, but yeah. So we got uh, at least from 
whatever it is in his head's explanation that you know humanity or, or as them were just these creatures that you know distract themselves with desire and uh goals and things and, and instead of just you know actually trying to be just present and living and be good and this is what these uh what they're trying to do by taking over people and returning them to this true state of being the the pure or the real humans and you know they get rid of all of those things and just live um so and he they, we get that reveal that you know i am your soul <laughs> and i just i was just like okay so all of these people that are transforming and then going to the cocoons they're not really dead they're souls are just retaking their bodies technically so everyone who's normal at least as we perceive them are not are have detached from their souls i guess they're just again driven. this is an assumption that the thing inside of him is telling him this, this is true information. but i'm gonna go with and that also the right thing now. has no real knowledge of what they are anyways they're, it's just a bunch of assumptions pieced together. I mean, he popped up out of nowhere. Yeah, I mean, he's assuming it on whatever it's found, and at the same time, you know, that's all we can go off of as well. It, they, there's been like only a handful of uh, random exposition where we get people talking about what what it is that's happening with the modification, what really is occurring, and um, yeah, I mean. We do know that you know, everything comes down to, you know, they start the monstrification when they give in to this desire that they have. And, you know, the chapter ends off with him, you know, he's like, I can give you the final desire, which you really want, which is, you know, to be back with your family. <laughs> and, you know, he gets a knock on the door and he hears his mother on the other side of it. And of course, the chapter ends with, you know, go to your sweet home. <laughs> um... He said, he, he said it. Said he thing. said the thing. Oh, we're run. We're done. We can end it. That was a good wrap. We'll go ahead and end this whole. Eh, we'll end this episode because that's where we needed to be. <laughs> but yeah, no. So if you know, this is all about. Is it wrong though for them to like give into those desires if they are returning essentially their bodies to their souls? Is it is it incorrect what he's saying all the way or? you know, the main character fighting against it, you know, like, no, this is, to be a person is to have desires, to have, you know, something long for to, to continue to even work towards. Yeah, but the thing is, the the things inside of them are not against having desires. They're against having, like, selfish desires, like, wrong, like, their, their problem is, like, oh, no, it's not because, like, having a desire is wrong. It is having, like, these, quote-unquote, impure desires mm -hmm. is what their problem is. Mm -hmm. Well, I mean, at the end, uh, I mean, during his his rant that he goes on, he states, you know, um, everyone just only has these desires and so many desires. But then after they're fulfilled, you know, they find at the end of that, you know, what is it that you really have? It's it's futility. There's nothing. You know, you just you don't have anything to go after. You just become a husk. And, you know, if if we were to be in charge, we would, you know, eliminate that need for desires and just live as these pure beings um you know doing the right thing doing the good thing that needs to be done um not out of a desire of selfish uh need or acquiring of anything um so now even to say that you know they don't completely don't believe in you know not having those desires but um are the creatures wrong in their thinking if they were to take over you know would they just build a better world then essentially because everyone is technically still alive in these mental uh states where they're happy forever and now the souls in their bodies are just continuing to exist so it's not even like the the souls it's because the, or, the better way to describe it is like they're the conscience the consciousness yeah the conscience the conscience of man they like the, the things inside of them the best way he described it is not really the soul it's like they're the little jiminy crickets on your fucking shoulder that tells you what's right and wrong and they they're fed up with you not, not listening, listening to them. So would it be better to let them be in charge though? Yeah. Yeah. I That's mean, you, you 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 killed your cricket a long time ago, didn't you? No, we don't talk about it. Oh, okay. We don't. Is that is that a no no subject? Topic right there. <laughs> is that a no no subject? 
Oh. I am the Jiminy Cricket. Oh, no. Don't even try that. <laughs> don't even. I'm not even going to question if you know what right and wrong is at times. <laughs> I know the answer. Uh, what are you talking about? You've seen my fucking, like, tirades about the things I argue on, like... Yes. Yes, I do. Media. Yes, I do. And I that's why I said I know the answer. <laughs> There is no, there is no logical right and wrong with you. There is just the correct. <laughs> uh, but so, yeah, we we got him out at this point of you know, does he finally give in to what he wants all this time? He's at the door. What do we think he's gonna do? Obviously, we can pretty much guess at what he's gonna do all the way through. But we do know that it doesn't just it's supposedly it doesn't end if he whether what choice he makes. Will he actually try and go for the door this time, or will he continue to fight against it and actually give some feasible reason as to why this isn't the way things should be? I don't have no idea. Oh, is he going to give into it? No, he's not. Yeah. He's, he's he's surprisingly he he's been resilient at not giving. Not in. resilient. No, no, no. He's accepting of the fact that he knows his family's dead. I mean, yeah. And the, the whole point of him blaming himself is that he blames himself for it. But he he really doesn't... He, so far, he de really doesn't desire them to come back. Like, it, that, that's the thing here. Like, it's it's weird because the the well, monster I mean, inside of him tr offers it. It's like, oh, this is the thing you want. But is it really? I mean, he, he, he seemingly... It's more like he, his, more. the thing he wants to... Re the thing he, he really wants is to apologize to them but like not real but the thing is it's not he wants them back he just wants to apologize to them yeah i mean well his desire is his, his truest and furthest desire may be wanting them back in his life but he's willing to accept that he just wants to apologize for the way he's acted and everything um up until this point i mean and that's why you know we've seen him get along and try and attach with some of the other residents of the building so far and even accepting them slowly more as like a family to him um but you know each one of them so far is this has displayed a little bit of the tendency of the monstrification starting to occur at some level or another and um we do know that you know the more they fight against it they tend to gain some more ability of the monster to control so will if he, with him now at that state if he refuses this and gives his reason to why will do you do you think he'll finally fully transform and be able to control it no 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 it won't it won't okay so we're still we're, we're still against that idea i mean because i mean after especially that last chapter where he just straight up kicked that thing through the wall you know uh, it's it's because i feel like the the dynamic of this is it, he has to have the the fight against the inner monster it's like okay oh, here this is my reference oh boy in in bleach when ichigo stopped struggling against the inner hollow it was kind of like uninteresting anymore Mm -hmm. Because because at that point it was like, okay, so does this mean Ichigo plateaued and then he plateaus and you're like, all right, so then where do we go from here? Right? So that's yeah. why like that's like at the end of the Aizen arc and when mm -hmm. he does that, that's like, okay, this is how it feels like to be done. Okay. There's nowhere to go from there. There's this. nowhere to go from there. And then when they try to do that thing afterwards, it's like, yeah, but now what what do we do do we focus on ichigo or like they tried to or you know kubo tried to focus on ichiryu yeah and then you're like yeah but i wasn't reading this for this character <laughs> so what's the point of this yeah and that, that's how this feels like so the, the dynamic is he's going to be there to struggle against his inner monster mm. once we get to the point where like he's no longer struggling against it and there's no longer the threat of him turning into a monster then there's no well, there's no agency. Uh, no tension. There's no there's tension no, to that. Yeah, there's no tension yeah. there. Well, I, and I definitely accept that. And I don't think he will accept the monster's bid here. But I still think... Because, I mean, he still needs the monster for his power. He still relies on it because it's the one thing that it can... It, it helps him defend everybody because of that. And I think that, you know, he'll accept a small piece of it. Um, it may even be a trade-off, like, every time I use this ability, I'll, I'll give you more control or I'll give you more of something over me because of that. 
because I feel like the monster is, you know, it's not, it, it seems to learn every time he comes to that world. You know, he finds a new way to kind of poke and prod at him even more. And it's not going to give up because it seems like so far we've never, we haven't seen anyone truly defeat the monster inside them completely out. Even the one guy with split personality, you know, he has to have some external force to bring him back from the other side when he, when he, when he tends to transform. So no, the, the guy with the split personality, he doesn't have to deal with it because what it is, it's like his two personalities are fighting the mon the inner monster at the same time. Well, no, because one personality, his normal one, uh, fights it, but the other one, his more psychotic one, seems to give in. Like he's no, his more, more psychotic. No, his more psychotic one does not give in to it. Does it it's not? No, it's because it, it seems like what it is is when he's calm. When he, he's like in his like regular like calm state, yeah, then it is the psychotic version fighting against the inner demon, and then they swap, and then when they swap, then it's it, it's not it's not because his his psycho his psychotic side is like giving in to the demon because he he his de his desire is just to be like oh, I'm just going to kill everyone, and now this is just how I can kill people. It's not like he's like, oh yeah, like I have to worry about becoming a monster because I was always just a monster anyways. Mm -hmm. I mean, I guess it's definitely one way I could see it. I, d I don't feel this uh, the loss of him not fighting, or at least the other psychotic side, not fighting in the desire because he's fulfilling the desire for him. If he wants to kill, then the, when he is in monstrification form and psychotic, he's getting to fulfill that desire, you know? Yeah. He, and he doesn't need the, the inner monster to do to deal with anything like it it can't offer him anything that he well it can offer do. well it can offer him more power to kill more efficiently because essentially it's like well if you're a human and you can kill people well you can only kill so many within an area even before they potentially could take you down but if you're in monster form and you want to kill people and monsters well i can help you do that and we can kill way more than you could if you were just a regular person so, I mean, that's always something that could just tip on the edge with the psychotic side. And if, and honestly, I, I see no reason why the psychotic side wouldn't accept it either. Because it's just like, you're going to give me exactly what I want to do. Why not do it? You know? And that's why I figured with our main character and him having that struggle, you know, he wants the power to be able to protect everybody. But in order to do that, he has to be willing to become the monster in turn to to do it you know so at what point will that you know it, it more or less it's even seeming like he slowly will turn into a desire for him you know because he'll want the desire to protect everybody and you know that constantly shifting fight of how far is too far before you know i'm fully the monster all the time yeah we'll see yeah, we will. <laughs> um, I'll probably. I, I haven't read ahead. I haven't fast passed any of this. I, I, I'm probably tempted to very quickly. Um, you've been a little silent down there, Seraph. How you doing? I'm just listening. You're just listening. <laughs> Do you got any thoughts on all of this? Uh, I don't know if you know how you kind of processed everything with the soul and this new development we got. I'm more yeah, worried. I don't even know what the I'm, I'm kind of wondering now if, if he knows this and wins, will he tell everybody else? What? Tell them how to defeat the monsters? Well, it's not saying that he that they that he knows a hundred percent how to defeat them, but like what they actually are. You know, that may completely throw somebody through a loop. Like if you know, oh wait, if this is my soul trying to to win, why don't I give in to it? They may be spiritually, uh, you know, go with it, or they may just have a complete mental breakdown. What's her name is still alive. And I'm more than more than sure that she's going to freaking transform at the worst possible time. It's like she's gonna transform when they're trying to climb the rope. Yes, like she's she's so on the edge there. So like giving her like anything like this, like oh actually you know the things that are constantly turning people into monsters are actually our, our inner consciousnesses or our souls trying to take over and become our world our real selves. You know, at, this this kind of thing could just completely break somebody in many ways, you know. <laughs> Especially one who's already damn near broke. Oh, yeah. You know, so, and then also with that revelation, will they, if they find other people who have already gone through the whole process and turned back to normal people, will they attack them? 
you know, knowing that they're no longer in monstrification form, will they be like, oh, you just, you're going to live your life peacefully? Cool. We'll just let you go on your way. Or are you going to constantly try and, you know, get us to accept the monstrification to go through the process? Just so many little angles there. I'll love to be like, Nah. 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 trying to get people nah. to go to the <laughs> well there's uh there's arcs all all his input to that <laughs> uh but yeah so a lot to go with on that uh i mean if anyone else has got any like just theories comments ideas definitely put them below because i want to hear for this one or any comments on any of the one of the chapters we covered for this week because there was a lot that uh, we got to see where we could go forward. But yeah, um, that does bring us to the close for everything. We didn't get a new chapter of Legendary this week or the last two weeks. So they are on a unknown, I'm not gonna say the word because I know you want to break. <laughs> there we go. Uh, so what? you don't want to say no, don't hiatus, ah. X hiatus. Uh, I'm gonna cut off your mic at that point. <laughs> but yeah, so hopefully, We'll get uh or a few chapters from them sometime soon going forward, or we'll maybe pick up another. You mean in a year? Yay! Uh, Two not... years! Yay! All right, you know what? We're done. Maybe We're done three? at that point. Woo! All right. Well, that's how it. long was the last like that that, that that log one? Was it like three? Uh, three years? Yeah. Three and a half. Uh, I don't want to wait that long. Uh, but either way, we can go ahead and we can wrap up on this one since I know it's uh it's really nice outside and I kind of want to go run for a little bit. But uh, I will go. What, you want? You want to make a bet? And be like, do we, are we going to see the next chapter of Moonlight Sculptor or Final Fantasy VII Part Two first? Seriously? Yay! <laughs> yes. I'm, I'm gonna hit you. <laughs> I'm gonna hit you next time I see you. Good God. <laughs> oh, so annoying. Hey, Jimmy, let's go ahead and close this out there. Thank you, ladies and gentlemen, for watching this episode of Project Webtoons. If you guys enjoyed the content, make sure to leave a like. If you guys want to stick around, please subscribe to the channel. If you guys want to stay updated when we upload, hit the little bell right below. And if you guys have theories, comments, or anything like that, just comment them down below. All of our things are going to be in all of all my links down in the description. So our Twitter, Instagram, uh, Spotify, Anchor. Are we on Apple Play yet? We are on Apple Podcasts. Apple Podcasts. We're and everywhere now. We are everywhere. <laughs> we are everywhere now everywhere and anywhere but hey hey yeah well thank you all for joining us uh going forward there we do have we uh we were just both uh seraph and i were on a podcast not too long ago on the hunters association we got another show coming here pretty soon so we got plenty to look forward to though but yeah yeah let's go ahead and we'll roll this out i am of course your boy sleepy it's your boy seraph here and this is our dragoon out Hey, hey, everyone have fun and take it easy out there. Don't need to love.